Hi guys, I have got Ryan here. And I do still have her for sale. I will link up above in the iCard her video about her being for sale. I just gave her a fresh bath. I took some more pictures of her, some current pictures of her. She's freshly powdered and I will warn you, those that ask for the pictures of her, she's freshly powdered and some of the powder kind of got a little much in areas. But anyways, I have had her for just short of two years. And this is the only second time I've powdered her. I've given her a bath and powdered her. I did it not long after I got her. And like I said, this is the second time I've done it. She's not a sticky silicone. She's a really nice squishy silicone. She just has her little mittens on because I thought they were cute. She will be coming home in this outfit. Uh, snowsuit. This purple snowsuit that I had bought for her in a haul video a while ago. And she has a diaper bag full of items that she will be coming with as well. So anyways, all her information about her being for sale will be in that I card above. And then if you want more pictures of her, I do have more pictures of her that I can email. So, anyways, that's not why. The brush that I used to powder her was shedding when I was doing it. It was driving me nuts. And that was a nice, expensive brush. So, I am going to do my Sweet Little Cupcakes um, tag. I think she did it about a week or so, two weeks ago. And it is a 20 questions tag. So I am going to start. Question number one. What can you leave? What can you not leave home without? Keys and a cell phone. Those are the two things I cannot. Sorry guys. Uh, one of the hazards of having your kids home for the summer. They're constantly fighting. No matter what you have scheduled. So anyways, um, question number one was, what can you not leave home without my cell phone and my keys? Clearly, you know, you got to lock the door with your keys. And my cell phone is like a lifeline. Plus, you know, if I lose my wallet or not lose my wallet, I can leave home without my wallet. And with Apple Pay, I can still get stuff I need. Two, what is your favorite brand of lipstick? I do not wear lipstick. I do not wear makeup for that matter. Three, what is your favorite flower? Yellow tulips, they have always been my favorite flower. And the occasional purple tulip, if you can find them, which are hard to find. Question number four, what is your favorite clothing store? Um, because I'm plus size, Lane Bryant is probably the only one that really sells clothing meant for plus size ladies there's a lot of places that sell plus size clothing but a lot of times it's just they take a either sometimes even petite size women's clothing and just make it take the batter pattern and make it bigger just because you take the pattern and make it bigger doesn't make it flattering on a plus size woman hopefully after surgery that will change and i can be like the popular stores and such that I would love to shop at, but I kind of can't. Number six, do you wear heels or flats? I don't really wear dress shoes. I wear tennis shoes all the time or my Crocs if I have, if I'm in a hurry and don't want to put socks on. Um, seven, did you get good grades in school? Uh, yes, I was pretty much always on at least the B honor roll. When I ended high school my senior year, I was on the A honor roll. Uh, even I'm dyslexic, so even with dyslexia and being an IEP, I didn't let that stop me from getting good grades. Eight, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Nine, do you drink energy drinks? No. That's a straight up no. I don't even drink caffeine. I don't like coffee. I don't like tea. I completely cut out soda because I was getting too addicted to it, plus it's a lot of empty calories. So for probably three years now, I may have an occasional sip of soda here or there, or like a root beer float, but none of those have caffeine in them. But I, I try not to drink soda unless 
I'm not feeling well, you know, like when you get a stomach ache, sometimes Sprite or 7-Up help out. Uh, so that was number nine. Number ten, do you drink juice? Mm, not really. Pretty much all I drink is water. You can ask anybody around me. I always have my Tupperware um, bottle, my Echo bottle. Uh, one of them, I have like five of them around me full of water. Uh, let's see where am I? Eleven, do you like swimming? Yes and no. I hate getting in a bathing suit, but I like swimming because it's good exercise and it's low Im impact. I am very thankful that my mother-in-law has like one of those above ground pools in her backyard as well as they have a community pool that we have access to. So hoping this summer we can get more swimming done than we did last summer. Number 12, do you eat fries with a fork? No, because I don't really eat fries. And if I do, I do not use a fork. Number 13, your favorite moisturizer. Once again, don't use it. I have very, very, very sensitive skin. And a lot of like lotions, moisturizers, even body washes, I react to. So I pretty much use none of it. I did find that Dove Baby uh, body wash. I react to it slightly, so I save that for like if I've been outside, it's a 100 degree day, and I have been sweating a lot, then I will use that to wash up, but honestly, like when I take a shower, it may sound gross, I don't really use soap to wash, and I've talked to my doctor and a dermatologist about it, and they're like, if your skin cannot handle sorts, any sorts of soap, you know, just let the water run off, you know, you're leaving your natural body oils, and that's what your body needs. A lot of soaps on the market, they will actually dry out your skin because they remove your actual natural body oils. So I use the like moisturizing, even moisturizing body wash I use sparingly. Number 14, are you married, divorced, would you like to get married? I am married and I have been married for almost 14 almost 13 years that's what it is no it will be 14 because we got married my parents just had their 39th wedding anniversary yes and we got married right after they had their 25th um do you get mad easily? Yes and no. It kind of depends upon the circumstances. For my kids, yes I can. Try to have patience with them, but sometimes they just know that fuse and how to uh, cut it down incredibly short and then light it. Do you have any phobias? Number 16, yes I am incredibly, incredibly afraid of snakes. It's, yeah. My, the psychologist that I saw for weight loss surgery, him and I uh, touched on that. And I have like a uh, bad phobia of snakes. Number 17, are you allergic to any food? Yes. I am lactose intolerant. I also am deathly allergic to shellfish. I go into anaphylactic for that. As well as I'm allergic to pork and pork products. And we're now discovering I have a contact allergy to bananas. Um, or no, not a contact. An oral allergy is what they call it. So like if I eat bananas, I get this like pins and needles tingling feeling in my mouth. And so I have been advised not to eat bananas anymore. Number 18, do you bite your nails? Yes, I'm bad about it. That's why my nails are never painted or if they are, they're not painted very long. Uh, number 19, what other hobbies do you have? Uh, pretty much just taking care of my kids and the dolls is all I really have time for for hobbies. I, I like to do photography too sometimes but by the time I get out my cameras and such it just with the kids it gets to be too much. And number 20, do you drink coffee or tea? Neither. I drink water which was answered up before. So I will put all these questions and a link to um, my sweet little cupcakes video in the description below 
And as I've said before, Taffy, do not get in here. No, I did not say that before. She keeps trying to jump in here. That Ryan is for sale. At the beginning of the video, there was an iCard for her sale video. And I hope she finds a mommy soon. I feel bad because right now she's just pretty much in my closet. And the poor thing has been kind of confined there because the cats love her. That's why I was just telling Teffy no. And yeah, cat hair and silicone do not fare too well. Yeah. Looks like I missed a spot when I was. Um, powdering her. So I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow.